Hi everybody, this is Pow Pow from To The Power Of Mom. And um, right now we are in my personal channel. I love Pow Pow. I L V Pow Pow. And um, in exactly 18 days, I am going to turn 29. And um, I feel like for the last, oh, that's my fire alarm. Um, for the last year and a half, um, I've been through a lot and I feel I am this amazing person at this point where, um, I don't know, I just really like where I, I'm at right now. And I really wanted to share that with you guys because I, I feel that it, may bring some reality and hope and hope for anybody that um, has struggled um, and I hope I can bring some light into you know into maybe I don't know to have hope and to be patient and I know it's gonna be hard and tough but um you know, if you don't give up on yourself, things are going to be better. And I feel good. I really feel good. And I want to share that. So I decided, well, my, my original plan actually was um, to, starting my birthday, July 18th, that I was going to do daily blogs until I turned 30. And, oh, crap, I got, uh, sorry. I've been rubbing my face. Oh, tired. Anyways, um, that I was going to do some daily vlogs. And then, um, today, the 1st of July, I had, I had a, a court date for a divorce. And, um, I kind of feel like I wanted to start my vlogs sooner, my daily vlogs sooner. And that is mostly because I feel like Right now, these today and tomorrow, they're very important court dates, and I feel that I want to share that with anybody who has to go through that kind of stuff. I've been separated for a year and a half, and apparently some paperwork did not get filed right, which meant that some of the stuff that I had to present, um, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow because tomorrow we have court again. Uh, but that's for visitation. So, one of the biggest things that I can recommend to anybody that's doing court stuff is put everything on a calendar and everything in one binder. I don't have my binder with me right now. It's in my car. But um, try to keep things as organized as possible. You know, um, using those clear thingies, just put the packets of whatever paperwork and, and write on the thingy you know what it is like oh divorce petition or um as you know each new date of thing you know even though that you might have like several police reports give each one their um their own thing so that when you ever need to find it and just kind of share it right away when some policemen are impatient and they don't want to wait you'll have it right there and then um so yeah and um I honestly recommend, you know, to always, um, whether you know or you don't know, if you're going to leave a relationship that is not too healthy, just, you know, for your, just, you, you know, just um, keep track. Keep a paper tra trail of what's going on, or picture trail or whatever. Um, that way, if there's ever a point where you need to have proof, um, you'll have it. But obviously, I know it's hard because a lot of us don't think about that. You know, we're like, no, we're going to stay forever and ever and ever. We're going to let me know. So, um, yeah. So today, that was it. Today is July 1st, and it's the number day uno of my daily vlogs. And no, I did not come up with this idea. Shay Carl actually did this for his 29th birthday um, six years ago. I this just came up because I feel that 
I want to share my process or my my whatever my life um, as I've come out of a abusive relationship and I feel I'm at the point where I am loving who I am but it's 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 not I don't feel because I remember before you used to say like oh I wish I was who I was before so happy and upbeat and funny and just you know just I enjoyed life I didn't have anything to be scared of and at this point you know um even my therapist was like oh do you feel like you're who you used to be and this and that because she has seen you know the confidence that I have recently you know gained um and that's the reading and you know self-discovery and you know I I've been going to therapy for the last year and a half too I do two hours a week one hour individual and then another hour um as a group and um I found that my own therapy is actually the website to the power of mom because I feel that if it can help anybody it's I'm doing something good and I think one of the biggest things for me to um, that helps me build my self worth is just working hard and helping people. Like that's what I like to do. So um, it inspires me, lets me be creative, it lets me use my life experiences. Um, eventually, I would I would like you know to be able to help out more people. But everything worth doing has to be worth working for. I think I said it wrong. Um, I got hair in my mouth. It's an eyelash. Where is that? It's an eyelash. Okay, anyways. Um, so yeah, you guys, life gets good and oh, I have so much cleaning to do. I am tired. I am sore and exhausted but that's what it is when you're a parent let alone a single parent you have to do everything that normal people have to do and then you have to also take care of a kid and it's a lot of hard work and you don't get breaks or naps unless someone can help you by watching your kid so, yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, and, yeah, I hope you guys come along on the ride. In the ride, on the ride. Ride. And um, we will see where this life will take us. Because I think it's going to be wonderful. And I'm happy. I'm excited. And I'm almost 29, which means... Oh, I'm leaving my 20s. So, yeah. That's it. Love you guys. This is I Love Pow Pow.